Hey traders, so in this video, I'm going to break down three types of struggling traders. I can sort of see which type are you if you are currently facing inconsistency, if you are currently struggling, or if you are currently not knowing what to do, how can you level up your trading consistency and your overall performance. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Neo, and I've coached over 200 plus traders and I'm currently running a community called the one percent of trade club where we have over 105 traders inside so let's go into the video so this video we're going to talk about the key thing which is three types of struggling trader so the first two types are still okay are still what i call the teachable kind of trader because again i've been in a coaching space for about three years plus i personally have about six years plus of trading experience i'm a full-time trader so the first type is informed trader second types of trader are uninformed uninformed basically means um this trader, he's, he probably don't know what to do. He probably have a lack of resources. He have a lack of guidance, um, lack of education, lack of funds, basically just lack of everything. The last type of trader are the most dangerous trader, which is the gambler. So this is the type of trader where normally assuming if someone like this come into my trade club it will normally take me at least half a year to sort of twist his ear to sort of pull him back to sort of adjust him it's more like a it's like a chiropractic when where you really need to adjust his bone you gotta crack him you gotta beat him up and sometimes you gotta be so straight until the point where he almost hate you and just a short sharing, just, just a short storytelling here. There are a few trade club members that previously had this kind of mentality. And this kind of trader, uh, they probably are watching this video as well. Some of my trade club members, they always watch my YouTube videos. They know how difficult it is for me to teach them. And that's one of the reasons why within our trade club, we got 200 plus lessons, all of these just is to ensure they get first thing proper education first once they receive proper education if similar habits if similar mentality still persist that's when i need to really step up and say hey you need to stop doing this so normally how i rescue them there are few ways but we'll go into that later on so first type of trader are the informed trader so what's an informed trader an informed trader is basically someone who have the education, who have the knowledge, have the, have, just say have the resources. Uh, most likely, he also have the strategy. But why does this person still lose money? Many of you, if you're watching this video right now, you might fall into the first category. And in fact, we have about 105 traders right now in our trade club, and more than half of them falls under this category, which means they have the strategy. It could be trend continuation strategy, it could be min reversion strategy, it could be range trading, it could be anything. They have the resources, they have the money, they have received some sort of knowledge outside, but they still fail. They still consistently lose money. Normally, this type of trader have two big things they, they have to fix. The first one is expectation. Second one is um, effective risk management. The third one is let me think again i got no script uh, i just want to teach as per what i can think of i will say 
deep understanding of price flow context based trading and these are the four important things that normally I try to instill into them so why why do I why do I say this specific four points and let me get into it later so these four things it's important. So if you're currently watching this video again, you have the education, you have spent a couple hundreds or couple thousands on to different mentor, different community, or, or at worst case signals, but you still fail, you gotta adjust your expectation. Most of the time, they always think, hey, if I have the right strategy, if I know how to trade, I can consistently make certain figures a month. I can consistently make certain figures a year my average return per year is between 50 to 80 percent again more plus minus there's no such thing as i guarantee you i can make 80 percent every single year no sometimes i can fall back a little bit sometimes i only make 30 percent sometimes i might be making 40 percent but for the past three to four years of results i've been consistently making 50 to 80 percent that's the rough figure Expectations mean they thought if you are a good trader, you're going to make money every single month. Or you're going to have a lot of winning trades. And that's not the case. For me personally, I don't make money every single month. Every single year, I've got six months where I don't make money. I've got six months where I make more or moderate amount of money. All right? Maybe three out of 12 months, I make a lot of money. And my job as a full-time trader as a consistently profitable trader is to ensure I, I learn, I know how to identify the specific market condition that fits into my edge so well. That kind of market condition where prices fit into all of my strategy, takes off all of the boxes, that, that's, the exact, that's the exact market condition where I'll press really hard, I'll trade bigger lot sizes, could be 80 lots, could be 100 lots, I could be risking $10,000 per trade. I need to make sure I go aggressive. But there are times where I feel like, hey, things are not really going well. Uh, let's say I took five losses, I take seven losses. So, hey, I need to step back a little bit. That's the time where I'll dial down my risk. I might be risking $1,000 per trade, 1.5K per trade. I reduce the risk first. I assess the market condition. I adjust my expectations because even me, you'll be surprised to say, you'll be surprised to hear that even me, I'm a profitable trader. And there will still be time where I have to realign my expectation. And that's human. We are all human. We all make mistakes. We all need that, that regular realignment. We all need that re regular adjustment, that sort of tweaks to make sure that we are, we are really at, uh, at, at, the, at, at our A game, we call that. So second thing is effective risk management. So effective risk management means all these informed trader, they're good in trading. They, they know how to trade, but they lose money because they do not know how to balance things up. So what are the three big things that you have to balance in trading? First thing is your strike rate, your risk reward, and your risk per trade. So strike rate, risk reward, risk per trade. If you don't know what's your strike rate, if you don't know what's your risk reward like, there's no way you know how to risk because you don't even know what's your average performance, what's your worst drawdown. You could be trading a prop firm risking 2% per trade, but what if your win rate is only 20%? Risking 2% per trade with a max 10% risk, you're going to blow your account as fast as like that. Like a snap of your finger, you're out of the game. What if today your win rate is 80%, but your average risk reward is only 0.5, is only 0.7. How do you put your risk per trade? How do you set your risk per trade? All right, so these are things that you have to consider. Once you have um, you have achieved a balance, then you know hey, how much should I actually risk? What's my trade frequency like? Because trade frequency is something that not many traders put into consideration at all. Trade frequency means how many trades do you take per week, per month, per quarter, per year? Because if let's say your win rate is low and you push so hard while maintaining the same the same stats, 
let's assume if your win rate is as low as 10%, this is the worst case scenario, right? Most of the traders, their win rate, most of the losing trader, their win rate is usually between 20 to 30 percent. All right, the, the remaining 70 70 percent of times they gamble the market, the revenge trade, they over trade, and that's what's causing them to have extremely low strike rate. So, assuming if today your win rate is 10 percent and you trade as much as 50 trades per month. So imagine with 10% strike rate, trading 50 trades a month. What's the kind of losing streaks you are expecting? You probably might be losing 20 trades in a row or more. So this is the kind of thing that you have to know. If, because if you don't know, you don't know how much should you actually risk per trade. You don't know how to adjust your trade frequency. You don't know how to be selective. Being selective is important as a trader. If you go into any profitable trader, they always tell you, you have to be selective on your setup. You need to learn how to identify the A plus quality setup, have a linear risk per trade system, risk more on the trade, risk more on the good setup, risk less on the bad setups, that's it. For traders will tell you, oh, you should have a static risk per trade. Those are more for beginner. When you go into an advanced, uh, advanced stage, when you're on the elite, when you're, when you're getting into an elite type of stage, when you are, let's say you're seven figures trader, not prop firm, personal capital, again, if you trade prop firm, seven figures, it's not seven figures, all right? If you have, when you get to level where you got a million dollars or above in your trading, in your personal trading account, you need to learn how to, how to risk more, how to risk less, because you are likely to have a very comfortable living. It's the matter of fact that how can you push your trading result? How can you push your performance to a next level? How, you get, how can you get to the next level, All right? So the third point is deep understanding of price flow. Deep understanding of price flow and context-based trading are similar thing. First thing is about understanding the market condition and also understanding the context. Then you fit your strategy accordingly. Being a profitable trader is like playing puzzles. Uh, so let me type it in here. Market condition. Um, let me adjust. Market condition plus context fit your strategy okay so you need to you need to first master to understand before things even happen you need to preempt after seeing some clues or some 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 hints where market is trying to tell you it could be as simple as using the emas it could be simple as using different kind of indicator to tell you hey rsi present that is overbought are we likely to go into halt? Are we likely to go into period of low volatility environment? Uh, or if you use EMAs, one of the simple trick is if you see price keep on zigzag, let's say the EMA goes like this. And if you start seeing price do this, then you need to learn when to take a step back. Because if you trade trend continuation setup, or you at the same time trade min reversion setup, these are the kind of setups that are going to get killed, are going to get slaughtered in this type of ranging time market. However, if you know how to identify them beforehand, it can save you a lot of money, all right? So remember, market condition plus context, then you fit into your strategy. It's like a puzzle. When you learn how to study the market condition, assessing the market condition, let's say the market is trending. So you know the market condition, you know the context, it could be market is on a very heavy trend, clear structure, clear higher highs, here higher lows, then you have a, you, you make sure that you have a strategy that actually fit into the kind of market condition, the kind of context. Because if you use the, the, a good strategy into the wrong kind of timing, into the wrong condition, you will still lose money, all right? So remember this, if you, just remember this, this thing, if, you use a good strategy into a wrong condition equals to
lose money. Uh, you can be given the best strategy in the world, but if you don't know how to, how to assess the condition, assess the context, you will still lose money. So let's go to the second type of trader, which is uninformed trader. So the uninformed trader are those that have zero clue on what to do. These kind of traders, I don't normally blame them. And some traders are really like that. They come into the market, they are falling into the expectation they are they thought that what they see online is real. They might be going on to the YouTube, do some sort of um, studying on the free lessons. Especially now these days, we all know how many online gurus out there are flashing things instead of providing real education. And they tell you, oh, 15 to 30 minutes a day is enough to make you a good trader. Me, when I first started trading, my first two years of trading, I spent on av an average of 15 to 20 hours a day in front of the chart. I wake up five at four to five in the morning. I see the chart, I back test, I learn, I study, whatever. The only time I take a break is when I sleep. What time do I sleep? Normally around 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And I wake up the next day exactly the same 4 5 a.m. in the morning. If I have a work, if I have a full time job at that time, which I did sometimes, I was working in a casino, I was working in a hotel, restaurant, casino, a different thing that I could possibly make some money from. I'll be leaving to work in the morning, that's 7 a.m. in the morning, and I work until 10 p.m. Or sometimes I work a little bit later, I work at 1 p.m., I work until 12 a.m. And I will go back home, I will not sleep, I shower, I eat my dinner, I go back to chart for a good few hours, I sleep, I wake up early before work, do my market scanning, and it goes on. This is the reality of a good trader. It's a craft that is almost so difficult to master, you, you just have to give it all. You have to get it 110%. And you know, Traders like this, the second type of trader, the uninformed trader, they just don't know what to do. And I don't blame them. I do have some traders, they come to me and say, hey, um, I just don't know what to do. You know, they, they don't have the right strategy. They don't have the money as well. What should I do? And I'll normally just, just coach them from scratch, from zero, so I reset them. And I, I bet you or not, the uninformed trader, are normally more coachable and easier to pick up the skill as compared to the informed trader. Because the informed trader, they could be learning things like ICT. They could be learning things like let it be whatever, harmonic patterns, whatever. They could be have some sort of experience where it's so difficult to reset them. And that's why it normally takes them a little bit longer to, to sort of um, uh, put them back into the right path, all right? So the uninformed trader are just people who don't know what to do. You could be one of them. You are so passionate in trading, but you don't know where to get started. And that's why you're stunned. Uh, you, you just don't know what to do. This kind of traders, you just have to start from scratch. Just know that follow the right leader, follow the right guidance. If you want to join our trade club, feel free as well. <laughs> There's a bit of promotion here. Um, because we're looking to expand our community, have more serious trader inside. Just make sure you learn from the right person, you learn from the right resources. Um, some of the courses online, they are very basic. Um, I have personally spent tens of thousands on so different lessons, coaching program, and I realized, not because I need them, but more to I want to test them out to see, hey, what does some of the other coach really does? What kind of value do they really provide? And most of the time, they'll give you, they, they'll have really basic lessons like what's a candlestick pattern. And let me tell you, you don't even need to study them because once you spend enough time in front of the chart, you naturally will understand why price moves in a certain way, why candle closes in a certain way. Every single chart pattern, every single thing that appear on the chart has some sort of storyline behind it. And for me, myself, as a price action trader, we learn how to study 
the, the price flow. We learn how to study the price action. We then from there get a bit of clues on, hey, I think there's a lot of passive sellers holding there. There's a lot of passive buyers holding here. Hey, price have failed the high multiple times. Let's say price want to break the high multiple times or price fake out the high multiple times. What does that mean? Hey, the candle's getting a little bit tighter. Looks like we are trying to squeeze higher. What does that tell us? Based on all of the experience, all the back test, all of the patterns, we have clues on what price is likely to do once we see certain pattern. Once we see certain price behavior plus price responses. Price behavior, price response, these are two key things that I emphasize a lot in my trade club in my trading community because if you know how to assess things like reading a storybook you'll realize actually trading the market whether if you're trading short term mid term long term just get a lot easier all right a lot of the strategy out there is not is way too simple for you to make money it's not that simple you need to learn how to study the context and the last one is the most difficult type of trader to, to, to correct, which is I don't, uh, which is those, the IDGAF type of trader. I don't give a fuck, right? They, that kind of trader. These kind of traders, who are they? Let me just give you some clue. Traders who blue. 20 to 50 challenges. Zero risk management. Thought they can, if they get lucky once, they can continue being lucky. <laughs> These are the type of trader where they, they probably got lucky once and they always thought oh, I can continue being lucky. And somehow they thought they thought luck equals the skill. They know nothing, but they act like they know everything. <laughs> so I'm sorry to be a little bit straight here, but I'm not here trying to, 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 to sort of roast this kind of trader. But in my trade club, there are a few traders like that. They blew a lot of challenges. They got no respect of money. They got no risk management. They probably got the money, but they just don't give a damn about it. So this kind of traders where I really have to uh, focus more on the psychology is more to, hey, a lot of times I always tell the, this kind of trader, I'll tell them, hey, I know you got plenty of money right now. You blew a lot of challenges. I'm so proud of you. But the main thing is, if you continue doing this, do you think money is unlimited? Most of the time they get shocked. I'm a very straightforward leader. I don't call myself um, a guru, a coach, a mentor. If I see traders like that, I'll just tell them, if today you join my trade club, uh, let's say they're under our one year program, all right? I'll tell them either you follow the way I teach or you leave my community right now. I'll refund you, you get out. The main reason being, it is very, it is easy to teach someone a skill, but it's difficult to change their, their personality. Because if their personality has always been, I don't give a damn about money, I got no respect on money, I just like to do things whatever the way that I want, there's no point teaching them because you are going to end up, or me, I'm going to end up wasting my time. And I don't like to do that. Our trade club, we only gather the best, serious, committed traders who want to change. We don't want to trade, we don't want to have traders who just don't give a damn. Even if they have the money, we don't want them be, to be inside because it's very toxic. But you'll be surprised to see, currently in my trade club, there are two very good traders inside, very consistent. They used to be the gambler. And how do I change them? 
it's high as it's I'm being so straightforward to them to the point where they really reflect and say, hey, I think I'm just a little bit stupid. Because a lot of times they are not super wealthy. They have some money probably because they got high salary or whatever. They thought money is infinite. They thought they cannot finish their money. That's why they have this kind of mentality, this kind of IDGAF sort of mentality. So remember, being a trader, trader is about respecting money as well when you start respecting your money when you start realizing that hey trading is a business if i don't respect my money if i don't respect the business itself i'm no way going to survive you might as well just quit right now so zero risk management means they risk big they risk 10 20 percent the trade they thought oh uh, they thought any of you could flip the account why could i flip i'm experienced I know how to switch on and off on that on that risk appetite, but you don't, right? They thought if they get lucky once, they can continue being lucky. Most of the times, they get lucky once, they pass a funder, they get maybe ten thousand dollars pay out. They thought they are they are god. They continue doing it just to realize they burn all of their profits made on the funder account, and they lost everything. Their savings, they get into debt, whatever. They thought luck equals the skill, you know. A lot of traders, they think they are a trader, but in, in reality, they are just a gambler. How do you define a gambler? Someone who has zero edge equals to a gambling. If you have no edge equals to gambling. So what's an edge? An edge is just basically a system you have full faith in. If you use it in the long run, it can always outperform the market. It can always outperform that your wins always outperform the loss. That's an edge, as simple as that. If you trade the market and you realize in the long term you're losing money, you're not on an edge. You don't have an edge. You don't. You probably don't even know what you're doing. All right. They know nothing, but they act like they know everything. So, again, many of you you might be wondering. Uh, yeah, I know many of you. Are under this category I'll just be straight many of you watching this video you thought you know everything but you actually don't know a lot of times when I ask you know, some of the I, I, it's funny enough that some struggling traders approach me and they say hey Neo, um, I have a strategy I'm doing well but I'm not sure why I, I blow my account am I um, is it my risk management is my psychology no you don't know how to trade you know nothing you know I'm not here to be what but a lot of the smart money trader, SMC traders, the ICT traders, they thought they know a lot of things. I'll just be very honest with all of you. If you are a, a SMC slash ICT traders right now, if you're watching this, you don't agree with me, you don't need to disagree with me. Just look at your own bank account. Look at your PL. You don't even need to debate with me. There's no point writing the comments say that ICT is blah, 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 blah. Just look at your bank account. If your bank account has no money, if you got no money in your personal capital, if you are consistently losing money, you're blowing challenges, you don't know how to trade. There's no debate on this. People come to me, always tell me they know how to trade, but they're losing money. You don't know how to trade. That's why you're losing money. If you know how to trade, you will not be watching this video. In fact, you may not even come to me and seek for help. The main reason why you're seeking for help is because I'm doing better than you. And that's the honest fact. All right. Yeah, so just make sure that you, you have a quick, you have a very straightforward reality check. Do you, are you really making money or not? It's just like a business. If today you're running a business, is the business really making money or not? Check your cash flow, check your net profit. If your net PL, is negative that means you don't know what to do and that's it for the video it's quite a long one 30 minutes and i thought this could be an interesting topic so if you like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're looking for a serious trading community to join don't mind just check out the one percenters trade club if you have any questions you may dm me uh, on my ig link is in the description below let me know what's, what kind of topic you would like me to talk next, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.